you seem kind of like a, a, a bit wacky. Would you rather, do you have OCD or would you rather have like ADD? It seems like you may have possibly both of them. This is a pickup artist class, but your small little dick probably doesn't know about that. These classes will turn you into a champion of the male species. This will teach you how to go outside and get pussy immediately, sodden panties within a one mile radius just because you left your house. These classes are guided by PUAs, pickup artists. They are the finest heroes of the male population. Now I want you to sit right there with that micro dick of yours and learn from the masters. Obviously lesson one is try and diagnose the girl that you're flirting with with either OCD or ADHD. That's basic shit right there. That's page one of the pickup artist book. So I hope you're ready to get completely enlightened. No, I don't have either one. Well, which one would you choose? I wouldn't. I mean, you wouldn't choose one. Well, why would this I is this to? is a scenario in which I'm asking you a question. Though. Why wouldn't you choose one? I just don't want to. Well, you, I mean, are you scared of having one? Or is that like... It's... Yeah, what's the matter, huh? Are you afraid to have OCD or ADHD? What kind of coward are you? You probably can't even handle my follow-up question. Would you rather have herpes, chlamydia, or both? Here's my number. Please call. No, I'm fucking kidding. I'm a virgin. Please, I don't have either one of those. Just call. No, I just... It's a hypothetical that. situation. I mean, is right. that really that hard for you to imagine which one would you would rather have? Okay, I, I love this woman because she is so mean. Yeah, I like that you said, you, you, you'd ask her this question, she's like, I won't choose this. Well, is it really that hard for you? I mean, what a great, I mean, that, that, that's, that's a, a strong disconnect, but it really is what a woman who, who is, is this antagonistic is going to need to continue to just stay in the interaction. Now, to give a little explanation on what this all is, the video is from a lesson that was given to a class which was led by that man right there asking about OCD and ADHD, the guy that looks like he coddles an anime lolly figurine every night before bed, and occasionally they cut the footage, so that way that guy and the leader of the pickup artist organization cult, that way they can chime in and break it all down for us laymen to understand, so that way we too can employ these expert tactics in getting laid. So that's what you're hearing right there where he says, I love this woman because she's so mean. And she is very mean. Like, why wouldn't you just, you know, pick OCD or ADHD? It's not like a weird question. Like, that's some pretty standard shit. So honestly, I think the fault's on her for making this interaction a bit weird. I mean, to me, like ADD, like you seem to have ADD because your eyes are twitching all Okay, I'll pick ADD. <laughs> or OCD because it seems like you're obsessed with small little details. I mean, which, which one? Uh, OCD, yeah. Well, which one is it? The whole the question a was to pick one, and now you're, now you're fluctuating okay. as though you don't really have a formulated opinion. So I, I don't really understand I'll pick that. ADD. But notice that she's laughing. He's pushed her, but she's laughing. That's an interesting point from Ace Asshole Artist here, where she is laughing about this absolutely psychotically odd question. And it seems like he doesn't understand there's a difference between getting laughed at and getting laughed with. She's very clearly laughing at this fucking goober. Now this is a woman, if you've... I don't think we have any shots of her standing up, but she has large enough breasts that she gets approached all the time. And she's probably used to being a total bitch to guys or just turning and walking away if she doesn't like their approach. You know, this is a woman who will bitch shield you pretty hard in a, in a uh, bar, for instance. And if you're not willing to have conflict and get into some heat, it's going to be, you're going to get nowhere. I was spoken like a true red-pilled Redditor right there. These kind of guys are genuinely frightening, 100%. Like, actually scary individuals with their mentality and how they view women. As if these kind of guys are God's gift to girls and titties and that they're entitled to all these women and women that aren't interested in them are just bitches that, you know, just because their breasts are so large, their milk tanks are so full of milk that they only go after NFL quarterbacks and not the nice guys like these guys. These kind of men are 100% scary and just downright embarrassing to like the entire human population. What is your name? Jennifer. You're not gonna shake my hand? Are you scared? Like, do you think I'm, am I that I think you're looking? a creep. Yeah. Oh, okay, I mean, you say that with such a smile though, is that? Because that... it's funny, I mean, it's funny when creeps come up and talk really? to you. Really? But, but, but it happens kind of all the time. But you're not running away, you're sitting there. Well, I'm being paid to sit here. You're being forced to. <laughs> Yeah. That's what all women say to me, is they're being paid to sit next to me. He's got her now. That's a checkmate. She is going home with him tonight. That vagina is super wet. You can already just tell. Once she called him a creep, that's when you knew the deal was sealed. Pickup artists are infallible. They know exactly what they're doing. It's, it's incredible how efficient they are at getting laid. You can see it right here. This girl is being paid to sit there. She acknowledges that, and yet she can't help but be 
attracted to this man due to his suave, his debonair, his incredible wordplay. It's just he's hitting all the right notes. Oh my goodness, it's amazing to watch a master at work like this. And it's so obvious that the only reason she's able to fight back the urge to just sit on his face and ride his tongue like a bicycle is because she's getting paid to sit there, and it would be unprofessional to do that in front of the whole class. I absolutely love that this girl is getting paid by these fucking losers to sit there and get hit on in the worst ways possible, and she can't even pretend to not be grossed out by these stinky greaseball weirdos. Right. So, is that, I mean, is that, you can do better than that in terms of aggression, too. I mean, that's not... I can. I'm not really that... I'm a kickboxer, but... So you're gonna, you're gonna kickbox me? No, but I'm just saying... I, I, I mean, I'm not really that... I don't really right. worry about things like no. that. No. I mean, let me get it. <laughs> okay, jumping in again, so... Oh, no, 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 no. Let me uh, jump in here instead. Here, let me cut you off real quick, pussy sensei. This was so well executed. Oh, you're a kickboxer, huh? Well, are you going to beat my ass? Well, let me take a quick picture. Nothing weird about that. Make sure you bring your disposable camera. If you're going to flirt with a girl and you go without a disposable camera, it's like going into battle without a katana. You're, you're going to lose. You don't stand a chance. You're not going to get laid unless you bring a disposable camera and snap a quick little titty picture of her when she's, you know, caught off guard. You know, most guys hearing from them when you're a creep is, is going to go one of two ways. They're either going to just you know, put their tail between their legs and run away. This is the right way of handling that. If you get called a creep by a girl, chances are you are 100% a creep and should absolutely leave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or they're going to be like, well, yeah, well, you're a total bitch, yeah, fuck you, and then, and, then and, and basically run away. And he engaged it. He's like, well, great, what is it about, though? I love this. Uh, you can do better than that in terms of aggression, you know? Yeah, that's the neckbeard approach to handling that situation. Oh, I'm a creep, huh? Do you even watch Rick and Morty? What, what was your favorite episode of Rickman and Mortemeister? Hmm? Uh, I'm a creep, huh? And I bet you don't even watch this show. <laughs> Are you even an atheist? Yeah, this is a bad way of handling it. If you get called a creep, just get the fuck out of there. So, I mean, what time is it? I don't have a watch. What's your favorite restaurant? What do you like to eat? Where are you from? Are you guys learning anything? No. Is that pure sarcasm? <laughs> are you going to answer one of the questions or not? I don't know. Okay. Do I have to? No, I don't have to. You don't have to? Uh-uh. And now you're twitching your hair like... Because you're, you're so. a psycho. <laughs> Me? Me, a psycho. <laughs> That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. If you could only see my Rin Tosaka body pillow, you definitely wouldn't be saying that. Or like my taxidermy collection, you'd be singing a different tune. You wouldn't be thinking that. That's that's a great joke right there. <laughs> Me, a, a psycho. <laughs> wow. Yes. In what way am I a psycho? Probably a lot more than I know now. Really? But, yeah. Like, what do you what do you think? Do you think I'm like a, a sexual uh, pervert, or, or how would you? In what way would I be a psycho? Um, I think you're more like a mind fucker. Me? Yeah. I can't imagine how you would come to that formulation. Honestly, I don't know how she arrived at that one either. You strike me as more of a uh, wears diapers to bed, shits in them, and then cries about it type of psycho, who then gets angry at women because there's no girls in his life to help change his diapy. So she says, you're a psycho. Now, how would you respond if a woman said you're a psycho in a bar or something like that, a party? Well, the best way to respond that we've seen, which Ron described, is, oh, in what ways? What kind of a psycho do you think I am? You know, he's amused by her point of view, and you can see from the look on her face, she's amused by it as well. It's actually one of the worst ways I could think of to responding to being called a psycho, asking her what kind of psycho she thinks you are. To be honest, I really feel like the goal of pickup artists isn't to actually get laid or make a connection with a woman or anything like that. I think it's just about having a long enough interaction with a woman that it counts as like a personal best record. Like, hey, I was able to keep this girl talking to me for 40 seconds before she vomited and ran away. New record. Thank you, pickup artist classes. I'm learning. Because how could anyone celebrate this, getting called a psycho and then looking at it like a good thing and then keep going with the conversation? Oh, I'm a psycho, but do you, what kind of psycho do you think I am, huh? Like, it's fucking silly. It's scary. I, I don't know who the fuck would take one of these classes and listen to this and think that, you know what, these guys are right. They're making good points. Because they're not. This is just downright scary. Genuinely fucking frightening. So, I mean, do you, do you often, like, have sex with, with mindfuckers? Is that how you know that? Or what, what would you no, say? No, it just seems like it's like a It's like a, a vibe. It's just a vibe. Okay. Just All an right. instinct. Fine. We'll stop there. Whew, thank God he stopped there. It was getting uh, 
real steamy there. There was a lot of sexual tension. You could tell that they were both really starting to feel each other towards the end there. Uh, you know, she said she doesn't fuck mind fuckers, but I mean, it was pretty clear that she was interested in this fucking weirdo, obviously. Pickup artists are d- d- just downright embarrassing, but I love watching pickup artist shit, and, and I don't get it. I-, I don't know who watches these things, what kind of desperate men will watch these things, and actually think that this is sane, rational, good advice. This is delusion, and you're gonna catch yourself on a list at some point. You're going to jail at some point if you follow uh, advice like this man here and follow these kind of talking points. It's disturbing.